What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Day. In this video, we're going to talk about the small creators versus big kinds of creators that's been going on in the community. But before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's try to get 20 likes on this video. Let's go ahead and get started. The big topic about it is small content creators getting mad at big content creators getting a gameplay early and get to play the game. My point of it is this, if you are mad that other people had the chance to play the game and you couldn't play early, you just trying to knock someone else's blessing down because they got the chance and you didn't. I do see it as people being jealous because they played the game early. Look at NBA 2K for example. Every year a new 2K comes out, they invite a lot of content creators to come play the game early. The whole point of it is that they can tell you how the game feels, does it look good, Good, is it better than the last game all you got to do is grind and your chance will come you have to build your brand your support base is networking sparking is a big game of course they're going to hit up the big content creators because it helps them promote the game and it also helps the content creators it's marketing for example when people get sponsored for something the company hits people up saying hey would you like to promote this game for us or product and we will pay you then the person that's doing the sponsorship promotes it it helps the business and the person that's doing the sponsor that's the whole point of it is marketing let's say if if I got the chance to play Sparking Zero early, yes, it would help my channel grow, but would it really help my channel grow? What I mean by that is that just posting straight gameplay can only take it so far on YouTube, in my opinion. I feel like some people is looking at it the wrong way. Let's say if these people wasn't able to get gameplay, then most people would be mad because we're not getting to see gameplay. If you think about it, we used to just get one trailer a month for the game, which is the main thing people want to see how the gameplay looks. Is the gameplay lagging? Is it this or is it that? If they ask me to come play the game early, I want 100% go play the game early and upload the content because I look at it as a blessing. If a company hits me up and say, yo, come play the game, I look at it as a door just open for me. That brings up the other question. Would I allow people to use my gameplay to make videos? I would let people use it because I like to see people grow and let everyone eat. Even Ron Style had to say something like this. Start fucking blowing up on YouTube. And then by the time, the by the time the universe too. like started coming out, it like that, that was like that and Storm blew everything up. So rather than like it all being a competition amongst each other, everybody like, regardless of what size you are, everybody should just be like working together. Because again, when everybody, yes. when everybody blows up, everybody eats. Yes. And when everybody eats, everybody's happy. And about the content side of things, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is gonna be a very big for content creators. If you are a small content creator like me, the main thing you should be worrying about is yourself. Getting ready before the game comes out. When the game comes out, people should be streaming and posting videos to gain an audience and also get into the algorithm, which is how YouTube works. If you are a person that is very good at edits, put a lot of edits in your videos. If you're good at making people laugh, do that in your videos. And the other thing I would point out is study other people's content, but do it in your own way i watch a lot of content creators i look at their videos and do it in my own way also make notes of videos that you want to make be creative come up with videos that you think other people probably won't think about start a series on the channel something like i use tn versus ui goku rhyme style has also said something like this <laughs> one thing i do want to say yeah. though is also plan, plan to do like shit that's completely different like stuff that nobody would ever thought of doing like one way i found lotus in xenoverse is this mother was doing a fashion show in xenoverse too every friday fashion friday Yo, like, niggas still ask me about that. I was playing dress to impress in Xenoverse, bro. I'm still. Oh, yo, I started a wave. Niggas <laughs> wasn't outside, bro. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you started that? Niggas was wasn't outside. outside. <laughs> nigga, I would do a pose 28 before pose 28, nigga. Just take oh take God. this next like two weeks and think about some like ridiculous ideas that nobody will will think of. And again, don't be all like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the Jiren story. Like, again, everyone's gonna do that shit. But like, Think about something complete. Like, for example, I don't know, doing a bunch of like raids with Chaozu. I mean, that's, that's also pretty common. But like, I'm just gonna pull an idea out of my ass. Like, I, I think there's millions no gonna do. Like, yeah, million million viewership ideas out there. You just gotta find them. To, like, think of it. Yeah, you but know, like, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell gotta you, be a one million view idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Plenty of shit out there. Get your 20k, 30k, 30k, 100k. Go crazy. Yeah. Something I'm gonna tell you right now is what we're trying to do when we're playing a Gamescom build back in like uh, July or whatever. Hercules fucking dog shit in the game. And we were just challenging ourselves to beat like full power Broly with Hercule. It, it was like next to impossible. Like little shit like that. Like stuff that day one motherfuckers won't be doing. 
don't have to be the first person to make the video awesome. For the people that think if I'm not the first person to post this and won't do good, that's a failure mindset. Even Lotus has said something about this. It's really big emphasis and focus. Like, we all would like the game early, right? We all would like early access, secret yeah. footage from Bandai, whatever. But honestly, as great as that is, it only do so much. And even on top of that, it's like, you don't gotta be first to be popping. And, even, and mm -hmm. even with the saturation of shit, like just because somebody else is doing some shit or it's other niggas out there <clears throat> and it's a saturated market and it is an extremely saturated market, don't mean that you can't eat or can't blow up. You see some other niggas got some early gameplay or whatever. I'm like, yeah, that shit cool. Yeah, they, they, they getting their views. It don't mean that you can't get your views as well and get on your grind and shit. Cause I mean, like I said, I was two years late to DBFZ and I feel like Sparking Zero gonna be just as big, if not bigger than that game, so. If you're already thinking like that, you might as well stop making content. You will never make it. Even in real life with that mindset, you won't. It's the sad truth. Content creation is competitive. Yes, you should try and be the best at it and try to make it to the top, but not everyone can do it. Content creation is a long-term thing. If you think you won't be doing it long-term, then don't try and do it. If you think about starting content on Sparking Zero or just content in general, listen to this. I spoke to another content creator and asked them what should people do when the game comes out what do you think the content creators can do when the game drops what i think the content creators can do when the game drops um just grind bro honestly you gotta just grind bro you gotta grind and you gotta come up with ideas that other people will not come up with and you gotta stay to yourself and like know your goals if you don't know your goals you're not gonna get nowhere you gotta like create ideas and just keep elevating every day like and a lot of people in this space like like day one they're not gonna be around some of them are just there for the moment so if you really want to take over in this shit you're gonna stay around the whole time trying to come up like the way i did on ss it was a lot of people doing ss a lot of them don't do it no more and and i'm low-key at the top of this shit now so like if you really want this shit you gotta be consistent because a lot of people just there for the hype bro I'm glad you. How do you feel about the whole situation as a whole? Um, what's the situation? Can you elaborate, bro? What situation? About the small content curves versus the big content curves. Honestly, bro, awake is just it's just not needed, bro. Like I don't get why people just can't mind their business. Like people complaining because people got the game early. Bro, them people worked hard for that shit, bro. They worked hard. I'm sorry I swore, but they worked hard for that, bro, so they could get the game. Like, even me, I'm a small content creator, bro. I'm not gonna complain because somebody got the game early. It really motivates me to do better, and it should motivate everybody else to do better. So you could be in them spots one day, bro. You could be getting the game early one day. Because that's what I'm trying to get now, bro. I'm trying, like, I'm really, in, like, that, that inspired me to reach those levels, bro. Like, for real, for real. And... This is just unnecessary drama, bro. Like, for real. Literally unnecessary drama. My personal take on the whole situation as a whole, I do think that if Sparking Zero had just released a beta for everyone to play, let's just say at least for three days, I think none of this would have happened. If I'm being honest, the game comes out soon and people are complaining about the wrong things. Everyone should just stay to themselves and grind. I'm not a drama type of person, but since it was about small content creators, I felt as though I should give my take on the situation and this is how I feel about it. And that will be the end of this video. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation in the comments make sure y'all like the video subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video peace you should have your pants up by now i tell the bro niggas to pipe down that was too flashy to watch bless now no you ain't gay so you can't come around i take me a backwards to the face all i say i'll get out of my way i can't watch your game whatever you claim don't give a damn cause these niggas lame i need it to lean i can't take a break i done got this bread up on my soul